What is up everyone, this is a quick edit just to put at the start of this episode of Final Fantasy VII Remake Let's Play. Unfortunately, the first 20-ish minutes of this recording didn't get recorded. Actually, a lot of it didn't record, but I was able to back up some of it. So the first 20 minutes are gone of this series, unfortunately, and I found out at the end of my recording session. So not much happened. Pretty much, I just went through the town a bit. I think I fought some few people, but I'm still on the way to getting back home which is how we ended last episode. So I just want to let you know that the first 20 minutes were gone, but it isn't too big of a deal because nothing important really happens. There had to have been people who just died there. <laughs> I think I did see people standing under that shit. I think I saw online that apparently Sephiroth wasn't even like shown at this point in the original game. I don't know if that's true or not. That's why I really want to play um, Crisis Core again because like I don't remember these two's relationship too much. I do remember like a very pivotal moment. I won't spoil it in not case, but like. You're dead. Okay, so Cloud said it's technically not a spoiler. So that's what happened in Crisis Core, right? So I remember like we killed Sephiroth, I believe. Oh, you need not remind me. It was the crowning moment of our time together, but that was then, and this The way Sephiroth's now. talking sounds so much like Ultima from FF16. Our beloved planet is dying. Like his so cadence is exactly the same. Silent. I don't think it's the same voice actor because like Ultima has like sh like 18 filters on his voice. Can you bear to see the planet? But the way he's talking sounds very similar. Which is cool. Cloud. I loved Ultima's voice. I had like some like very creepy clarity to it, which was like perfect. When do we get on the ground? So many things will be lost. Your hometown burns so bright. The sound of her voice. Oh, clearly he's seeing something. Another location. This is the house. I'm assuming this is the village that we had the flashback of Tifa in. I believe. That which binds us together would be no more, and I would be loath to live in such a world. Which is why I must ask you this one favor. Don't worry. It's a simple thing. Run, Cloud. Run away. You have to leave. You have to live. The fidelity of this game is still so good. Even though it's like... It's not insanely old, of course. But I think this is like 2020. Four years and it hasn't aged a bit. Good, Cloud. Very good. Hold on to that hatred. I'm seeing things. So Mako can affect you, perhaps. That's what I said last episode. I feel like every year has to have some kind of radiation. A flower dealer. Oh shit. Oh yeah, I forgot this was an entire plot point. This ghost stuff. This is also one thing because I feel like the ghost stuff was like very big in this game, but I heard that that wasn't a part of the f original game too, which I can't really believe. I feel like it's in the game a decent amount, like this paranormal type shit. Weak to save anyone. Not even yourself. Are you okay? Hey, are you okay? No. Give me a flower. I'm fine. Here, this is for you. Huh? A flower? That's right. It's a gift. Loki, the flower looks like Cloud. You know, for scaring those things away. What things? Never mind. Think of it as a memento. Just my luck. I heard that, you know. Uh, how much? How much? Well, that depends on the customer. What a shitty business model. In your case. <laughs> it's on the house. Huh? Lovers used to give these when they were reunited. Look, I'm involved in things. Dangerous things. I'm sure you are. So? She wasn't asking to be close, bro. Calm down. So keep your distance. Wait. You think someone's out to get you? Is that what you're all worked up about? Relax. No one's going to attack you. And I feel like she's acting a bit too nonchalant with how he looks. It's like, he's clearly armored up, has a big-ass sword. Well, she's probably used to Zack, I guess, but... Help me! 
I'm interested to learn about these things again, because again, like I don't remember what the hell these were from the original game. These creepy eyes, dementor looking things. Drop your weapon! Are you blind? You know, you're right. Wait! Yo, she lost her entire inventory, bro. It's on the ground, her fucking business. Okay, back to the episode from where the recording did actually start. Bro, are you serious? Okay. Uh, do I use magic on that man? Oh, I can't. Uh, oh, I need ATB. Let me get these guys first. Get this man. Jesus, camera. Camera. Riot Trooper. Fire. Bop. You're literally dead. This bus stop looks giant. Like, height-wise? That's huge. Destroy these mats, too. I like that the last attack of your combo does like way more damage. Because if you just hit one person with that, they're dead. I think there's like a side quest for this. Like I kind of recognize this. Can you read these books in the game? Because like the Trails games that I love playing, they have so many books within the game. It's like, it's really nice. I wonder if that book's actually something you can read in the game. I don't plan to do any of the side quests, but you know, we'll see. If there's something interesting that naturally comes in my path, who knows what will happen. Man, I hate the ATB system being linked to MP. Where are they looking? Why are they not coming to me? Oh, they're trying to make... Oh, okay, yeah, they're trying to keep the distance. Uh, Riot shield mandoms. Blow them up. <laughs> Blow up everyone. That's not even a fire spell, bro. That's a grenade. Jump to this guy. Okay, uh... Nope, can't use spells. Yeah, I'm assuming I could just hit him from behind, right? Yeah, okay, good. That works. Uh, was there not a guy behind this car? I swear to god there was. I swear to god there was a guy here. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss out any chest too. Oh god. Oh god. Stay still, my guy. The dogs run around too much. Yeah, I feel like the main way to kill the dogs is like the end of your combo. That does like most of the damage. Obviously, you can Oh shit! What is this? I guess I just gotta take the beating? Yo, piece of shit. Let me beat the absolute living hell out of this ugly looking big ass dog, bro. Get out of my face, my fam. Okay, let me blow this guy up. Bop, murdered. Uh, is there no chest I missed? This is a really long street. I'm assuming I got cutscenes in a start here. Okay. End of the life, punk. Enjoy this. I don't feel like I'm gonna be saved right now. It feels like it. I'd love to fight all these guys, but I don't think I'm gonna be fighting these guys. Oh, never mind. I am fighting these guys, goddamn. I'm drinking my water thinking that a uh, cutscene thing was gonna happen where I get saved. Bop. Get this, man. Yo, F off with the grenades, man. I'm level 10 now. Nice. Uh, can I use my thing? Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. I should use my Punisher mode, right? Let me get close to someone. Punisher. Start destroying these man. I feel like Punisher should be able to break through that. Oh, wait. The Huntsman. Is this a boss? What is this? Oh, it is. Okay, cool. Hey, yo, I like this, bro. This guy's magically just stronger than his fellow soldiers. Destroying this man. Ooh, this guy's dying, bro. The red freaking suit does not help you. Do you not disappear, Tomoko? It's me, ya boy. I wonder if that soldier is actually a character you know from like Crisis Core or something. I don't know how you would know because like there was no distinguishing features, but... Cool, we escaped. How the hell did all four of them meet up? Kiss Cloud won't be joining us after all. No need to assume the worst. I'm sure he's fine. You saw him in action, didn't you? Guy's a soldier. Goddamn one-man army. Thanks. <laughs> You think he's a keeper? One might go. You got lucky there was people in this cart. I didn't say boys. What the hell you been up to? His fatherly instincts came out for a second. Giving public security the runaround. That's what. Had to draw them away from the station somehow. Nicely done. 
Well, can't argue with results, huh? <clears throat> what? <sighs> Wait. Got a question for you all. What? Ever been attacked by an invisible enemy? Uh, what? Wearing robes. I hate those reactions they had. The cartoony ass, especially they Wedge. Invisible. They were at first. Only saw them after she grabbed me. A new Shinra weapon, maybe? <laughs> More like a panic-induced hallucination. <clears throat> Never mind. Forget I said anything. Suit yourself. Come on, let's move up. Yo, let me scavenge these boxes real quick. You know what I'm saying? Let me get some food. Let me get some potions. So why can't I still hear them so clearly? Let's get some loading up in this shit. I feel like this is a mechanic you don't really see it that often in like more modern games. I guess that's the only part that's aged. I don't think there was like anything like that in FF16, really. Bro, let me move forward, man. Move this shit. Okay, good. What's up, my guy? What's up? You're, uh, holding up pretty well. Huh? Yeah, bro. Even after what we saw at the station and all over Sector Eight, I'm a soldier. It's weird that they have the triangle indicator under the dialogue, but it doesn't let you skip the text. Something to look So you have to like go at the pace. Or maybe not. Oh yeah, Wu Tai's that other group, right? The the one in suits. Those are the Turks. Who well, else? Wu Tai. I can't remember. What if it was Shinra? Fam? The explosion triggered a reaction with the Mako. You said so yourself. That was my first guess. But shouldn't the reactor have failed? Do people in universe know what Mako is? Because I can't tell what kind of like thing it is. Is it like nuclear energy? Is it like gas? I have no idea. I'm just looking for excuses for something that was clearly my own fault. You're good, fam. Chill. Gotta own up to it if I'm gonna learn from this and move on. Thanks, Cloud. You're a good listener. Sure. My boy, Beretti. What kind of maniacs would go so far as to bomb a reactor? This scene was always like way too goofy. Because to Beretti clearly just looks like a terrorist right now with his big ass gun arm. Unless that's a normal thing in society, I don't know. Aren't they the terrorists who tried to kill the president? Why does she keep looking at Beretti? Okay, she's looking at him. I thought she kept looking at Beretti. Hey, quit talking out your ass. Everyone knows Avalanche only cares about saving the planet. Just who do you think you this are? is supposed to be a comedic scene, though, based on the music, a so it's fine. Abiding concerned citizen. Law abiding? Really? Mm. <laughs> uh, shh. Don't antagonize him. In my humble opinion, that explosion was a message. A message to the bastards bleeding our planet dry. Think they got it? Heard it loud. Why is it that when we went to bomb the reactor, we didn't, like, put on masks or anything? Like, we just straight up went we with how we looked, and we were caught on camera. Violence, but so I'm sure our image will get out at some point, prosperity. if not already. That is how civilized people change the world. Shut your ass up. <laughs> that is the Shinra creed. <laughs> You're spiking words. It's what we believe. We all have to follow our conscience, don't we? We should go. Right. <laughs> Chill out, man. This train looks super nice. I haven't been in a train which just straight up has sofas. Yo, that person like knocked out. This dude's sleeping, right? Jesus Christ, Jesse. Chill out, man. This dude's sleeping, knocked out after his bakery job or some shit. Oh, you can skip dialogue. It's triangle. What a weird ass button. Okay. Wasn't that the guy who just talked shit that looked like him on the TV? Personally, I find visual aids make the dull stuff a lot more bearable. If it helps, think of it as an initiation rite. How many times do I have to tell you people? I'm not There's such a thing as playing too hard to get. So, here we've got a wireframe model of the great city of Midgar, complete with massive steel plates suspended 300 meters above ground level. Atop which stands a shining beacon. I feel like she starts talking about shit with no context, and so why is she explaining this right now? I'm sure Cloud knows this, which is why we went on the job. The train will be passing through an ID checkpoint shortly. This here is the train's route. As you can see, unless she's controlling this, pillar. I'm assuming there's just some like in train demo that happens, but like now. it's very synced with what she's saying. Checkpoint here to scan the IDs of all passengers heading in and out. Date of birth, residential status, criminal history. All that Honestly, this is pretty dope. I like this. I would like this in real life, except for like the criminal history and shit. That's like a lot. But like if you didn't need a train pass and it just scans you, this is dope. So much more convenient. Don't worry. 
little faith. Won't be long till we reach the bottom. Relax. Take a good look. It's because of that great big pizza in the sky that people down there <laughs> got a <laughs> good ass name for it. Shinra sucks up Mako while the soil turns to dust. The air fills with smog and the flowers die. Then leave and don't look back. <sighs> that's what's always worked for me. <sighs> well, that's all well and good. If you only out for yourself. Beard has a daughter. The folks down there don't have the luxury of choice, you know. Like this train, I suppose. There's only one way it can go. He just permanently took off his glasses. I guess it's night. Yeah, you really shouldn't have your sunglasses on. Why did he have sunglasses on? Yo, chill out, bro. That's way too obvious. You calm, calm the hell down, Wedge. You're saying this too loud. You're in a public area, my guys. Yeah, no shit. Fucking dumbasses. Everyone in this vicinity knows we're terrorists right now. You've earned it. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? Soft. Yo, where's not pay, bro? The payment. Where's the good shit, bro? At seventh heaven. You know where Tifa works. Don't keep her waiting. She worry. This is like very unrelated, kind of. But like, if you play Final Fantasy XIV, it's kind of dope that they have a seventh heaven in it. And I don't know if this is by purpose, but I swear to God, they have an employee in it that looks just like Cloud. Which is funny when I notice that. You can't talk to him or anything. But I'm pretty sure that's Cloud. Okay, there's no one to talk to from what I can tell. Let's just keep moving. Who's this Polar Express looking ass motherfucker? This guy looks straight up from Polar Express. I don't know, he would have the same mustache and everything. Okay, I was like, what the hell? Did I like turn around? This is just two identical food stalls. Oh, three. Let's go to our home. So what sector are we? Sector 7? Is that what it means? Mako is the lifeblood of the planet? Yeah, the hell it is. God, this is what I'm confused about. So, like, is Mako just like a mystery thing posters. that people don't know about? I tear him down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like, I've got nothing better to do. I mean, look at all that steel work. You trying to tell me that's not progress? <laughs> Jesus. What the? You okay, buddy? <laughs> Mako junkie, huh? Figures. Also, people take Mako as drugs, though. Oh, shit. That's true, I forgot we have Mako in our eyes or some shit, right? For some reason, I forgot why. Warning. Gate broken. Fiends in area. Exercise. So the language they use in Final Fantasy is just straight up Japanese. Even though everything else is in English, clearly, like Shinra. Why is this sign in Japanese specifically? Sector 7 slums. Our home. Oh yeah, it's just Japanese and English. That's interesting. I thought it would be like a, their own like custom language. But a lot of the stuff is in English. Okay, interesting. What y'all watching? What's up? Arlene. <laughs> Daddy, you're home. Was Barrett with me? <laughs> That's right, Angel. I Welcome am. back. <laughs> Have you been a good girl? Yeah, I've been helping <laughs> Tifa. Oh, you did, did you? Well, well. <laughs> you made it. Yes, yeah, sir. Where'd you get that? I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. That's true. Aerith's business is probably like highly lucrative. And she just threw all of them on the ground. Because there are no flowers down here, right? Daddy, the Mako place blew up. Everyone on TV's talking. That was us, honey. Do you mind keeping Marlene company until I'm done with this? Is there a reason? Barrett's right here. Yeah, you. Barrett's literally right here. That was a weird ass camera zoom in. Scaring my daughter like that. Daddy says never talk to strangers. <laughs> That's right, honey. I do say Isn't that. she like always what in this public shop though? Like everyone's probably a stranger. <laughs> you know what else good girls do? They go to bed on time. Come on. But I'm not tired. I want to talk some more, Daddy. Mm, all right. But now that I think about it, do they ever like explain his like family uh, situation, so like whether he has a wife or not? My money. Or maybe that's in a future game. Yeah, I don't think they ever do uh, anything about that in this. Right. About that. We should talk. Bro, I'd be so okay. pissed if I went through all that and didn't get paid. Most sus ass freaking organization. Before 
we get on to money. Oh my god. There's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for, for free. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay That's rent. That's dope. Sound good? In this economy? Sure You're not exactly a people person. Talking shit about me in public? The stuff above has to be like a, a PNG or some shit, right? Like, this is like hella detailed. I think it is. It looks like pretty flat comparatively. It works so well though. It's probably just like a skybox or some shit. But it looks like so nice. Room 201 here is where I sleep. Oh. Here's your room. 202. That one's, uh... You know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. Some ghostly ass dude, probably. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's go and sleep. It always bothered me that Cloud just sleeps this full attire. No one invited you. It's a little bare, but should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get it. There is one thing. <laughs> My money. You guys owe me 2000 remember? And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... Pesky ass change, I could tell by the sound. Sorry, 500, never mind, that's pretty decent. The rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters. You're gonna make 1.5 grand from filters? Of course, as long as you help, that is. Man, shut the hell up, man. Pay my money. Then I'd have to pay you for yeah, exactly. that too. No, 2000's enough. That's what we agreed on, so... I'm that clearly you're doing price. more work, so that doesn't make any With sense. What you gave me, that leaves 1500. Do so nice. You're the best. I'll see you bright and early at the bar. Getting then. scammed so hard. Thanks again for everything. By a friend, no less. Sleep tight. No. This isn't an apartment. What is this? You got like two bathroom looking stalls right beside your bed. And he's sleeping in his freaking. You give him some pajamas. Guess it's time for introductions. Dude's like dying, bro. What kind of noises? Is there anyone? Yeah, there's still people outside at this time. That guy looks pretty sus. Okay, let's see. Hey, What's going on? You okay in there? I feel like they're trying to add a creepy atmosphere right now, but it isn't because it feels like everyone's awake Coming still. In. It doesn't feel that late. You don't just enter the dude's home. <laughs> I love how they do that because, like, yeah, it's a fucking big ass sword. It'd be funny if it actually was Sephiroth that was the neighbor. Cloud, stop! Get back inside! Get off me! Oh shit, CG type beat. Yeah, I wanna learn more about this stuff. This looks like hella dope. Crisis core reunion? 49. Imagine if Tima didn't stop him. This dude, Cloud would have just slaughtered this dude. What are you doing to Marco? This is his apartment. He's got a few problems, but he's not a bad guy. The landlady asked me to check on him now and then to make sure he's okay. Can I ask you to do the same? Sure. At least lock your door, fam. Can you imagine sleeping with that shoulder pad on? I should have died. I guess in universe, the reason his right arm is just zero armor. Even his gloves is because he has to hold the sword with that arm and that sword is probably like just stupid heavy. Hell yes, that's sweet, sweet daytime. Can we check on him? No? Okay, cool. Oh, we can go up here. Better be a chest. Can you just not use ladders when you're running? Is that what it is? Okay. Oh, shit. Better be like the ultimate weapon. A tough to Phoenix. That's pretty good. What the hell? Okay. Are you awake? No? Okay. Okay, let's explore the town. That the landlady. Well, no. You must be I swear to God, I've read a manga with a landlady that looks I'm exactly the same. Landlady. I don't remember what, but I swear to God, I've seen this exact design, and it was a landlady. I've been around. I think it might have been Food Wars. I don't know if no I'm making matter. that up. All kinds come through with all kinds of reasons. If you ever need an ear to bend, I'll lend you my. What's she to you? The granddaughter I never had. Okay. And if you heard, loud and clear. Good. Now you'd best get a move on to seventh head. I'm assuming this is like one of those kids that you're gonna meet after. I'm just out here trying to find secret chests. That's that's my goal. Town, what the hell are you guys armed for? Hell yeah, it is. I know there's a weapon shop. Would I be all right? Okay, that's a good sign. Can I go into it right now? Well, it's probably closed, isn't it? I wonder if you can buy new weapons right now if you wanted to. I think you have to do the filter mission first before you're able to access all these places. Oh, chest right here. Yeah, okay, everything's closed right now. Let's just go to 7th Heaven. I like this weapon sign, though. It's very clear. Like a dumbass like me could find it. Nice and bright. Bro, this place is a lot bigger than I thought. I thought I'd be at 7th Heaven by now. Where the hell am I going? Oh, yeah, I can run. Okay, let me just, like, dash. 
Shit, the seven sector's a lot bigger than I thought. Hey, yo, hold up. Can I pet you, my boy? My boy, you got a collar and everything. You look at his face, bro. Ugly ass piece of shit. Waste ass. Let me pet you, man. Eggs and chilts. Morning. Hey. Just so you know, Marlene's still asleep. These water filters won't replace themselves. I feel like this music isn't fitting of the scene. I feel like it should have changed when I entered 7th Heaven. Most every home in the area has one. Folks love them because they practically eliminate the rotten egg smell. Honestly, they make us more money than this place. And it's easy money, too. We bring new filters. Bro, don't be like that when you agree to do for free, you dumb piece of shit. What? Give me a break. I'm not a salesman. I'm a soldier. Which is why no one will refuse to pay. What do you say? Please? Let's get this over with. Great. And while we're at it, I'll give you the grand tour. Are we allowed to play darts right now? Nah, it doesn't look like it. Barrett's out making his rounds too. As long as I get it all together. Hey there. Here to change out your water filter. Tifa, baby, how you doing? Been waiting for you to... Wait, who is he? Cloud's in charge of collections. He'll take your money. Sounds like a pretty sweet gig. If you ever need someone to fill in, I'm your man. In your dreams, baby. No. Huh? Cloud! <laughs> uh, since we're here, maybe we should... Yo, there's music, though. Suppose I could take a look. Let's see, let's see. Ooh, they have art for each of the songs, too. That's pretty cool. That's some cool-ass looking art. Well, I have more than enough potions. Phoenix down, F3. That's good. Antidote. I never use, like, antidotes or, like, paralyzed potions or whatever in games, but, like... I always keep one, and the off chance I do get poisoned, and I really want to use it. Oh, wait, you have materia? Hold up. Ooh, how much uh, gill do I have? Okay, lightning materia, but then I wouldn't be able to use fire. I think I like lightning more than fire. I'm sure I can get lightning materia for free, like on the ground somewhere, but like, lightning is my favorite element. Thanks. Materia, set materia. And I'm, is it like that if the more I use a spell, the faster it'll level up, or do I have to do some like melding shit? Like if I just spam lightning a lot, will it become like Thundara? Try being a little nicer. To get free shit. <laughs> Landlady's a client. Just met her. She's a good friend of Avalanche. So She's kind of letting me live rent free. I think I could just like change it for free for her. Eva, my dear, dear girl. Oh, what's he doing here? Working. Be nice. What do you be nice? There was not. I was provoked. Cloud's helping me with collections. You better take care of her. I'm pretty good at taking care of myself, you know. That I do. Still better him than you. Why is that dog so detailed no compared to the other animals? No wit, big sword, but no skills. You don't even know me, my guy. I've got skills. Be nice. You shut the fuck up, yeah. I'm being provoked so hard right now. <laughs> You're looking awfully good. I try get it. A good long rest to cure anything. A tried and true lesson for life on the ground floor. And that you are. Thanks, Marl. Alright, cool. I'm confused. Did we change the filters beforehand and we're just collecting the money now? I thought we would be changing people's filters, but I guess we did that at some point and didn't take the money for some reason. Weapon shop. Let's go to the weapon shop. Hell yes. I believe you can buy a sword right now. The thin looking one. Which I actually really liked. Why Tifa like walk into the wall? What was that? Damn. Also, we did change it beforehand. Oh, I guess not. Save your excuses and get out. All right, if you could just settle your bill. The hell? You charging me for your busted ass good? My associate handles payment disputes. Think you can mosey up in here and have it your Just way? pull out your sword, fam. Pretty please. <laughs> Actually worked. Thank you very much. Seeing as we're done with our rounds and you've got a small fortune now, why not take a gander at the weapons? I think I only got like 900. Well, I think it was 600, actually. It's not that much. Back with the rest. Before we open up tonight, it'll be a while yet. Don't really know. In that case, I've got to... If you're serious about becoming a merc, then you're going... To, it's not what you know, but who you know. Hmm. You gotta walk around talking yeah, to people, I assume? Floor. Yeah. I assume? Connections get you jobs. Jobs build your rep. And more rep gets you... How do I start? Hmm. Why not help out the neighborhood what? Yeah, okay. Didn't see anybody at the office. So let's... Buy a weapon first, bro. No better way to keep you and your That's not the guy I was talking to. Where's the other guy? Oh, right there. Huh? Oh, what? What? Can I not buy a weapon? What happens for him to accept me after? You shut the hell up, man. Damn. Do you want to do something? Would you have to go inside? Oh, I see. Huh. Didn't know you were holding down the fort. Huh? Oh, hey, Cloud. Looking to join the neighborhood watch? That depends. What does this neighborhood watch do? Uh, lots of stuff, really. But our top priority is taking care of any beasts that wander into town. 
that and teaching the locals how to defend themselves. I don't know why this spot gives me the the usual spot vibes in Kingdom Hearts 2. Like Hanner and everyone hang out. We know that. If no one knows him, no one will hire him. Thought if he joined the watch, he could get his name out there. It seems very similar. It's like Biggs is Hanner. That dude's pants. She's all that. Just with how they look too. Cloud looks like Roxas too, if I'm being honest. What about your sword? I could mod it. There's a lot of resemblance. No thanks. It's fine just the way it is. What? You some kind of purist? I know I'd never pass up a chance to Oh, I'd probably be able to buy a sword after this then. No way my man can lift this. Actually, never mind. Biggs actually looks more like built than Cloud, if I'm being honest. I completely forgot you could upgrade weapons. Oh shit. I don't remember this this mechanic at all. Did I even do this when I played? My memory is so ass. Max HP, let's do that. Oh, we have a lot more SP. I can do multiple. I can do one more. Let's do attack power. Cool. I completely forgot that mechanic existed. That's weird. I should have known. Oh, well, that's cool. I like that. Automation. Oh, you can increase your material slots too. I know they have their own skills, but I couldn't remember that you can upgrade them. All set. Needless to say, you'll have to try it out. Thanks. <laughs> we'll do you one better. Spread the word to everyone who'll listen about the new Merc in town. Between him and Wedge, there isn't anyone they don't know. I'll march through the streets singing your praise, nice. even on an empty stomach. Hold me type shit. So, where are these monsters? Scrap Boulevard. Hey, Cloud, I'll come with. No. You take some support, fam. But you don't know the way, do you? We don't. <laughs> <laughs> sure thing. I know these streets better than anyone. She, so I'm gonna have to find it myself anyways, it seems, because uh, she's not leading me on. Okay, I'm gonna try the weapon shop one more time because... Let's see if he's still up on Casper or not. No, okay. I don't get what this guy's for. I'm assuming like upgrades or something later. Okay, let's uh, let's do some fighting. Let's kill anyone in my sight. Okay, there's a cave. Am I supposed to go in there? Is that on the map? Whoa. I didn't know this was a thing. What? The I definitely did not know this was a thing. This is cool as hell. I mean, it's pretty useless. I guess it's more like a world map. Okay, I like that. Never mind. That's pretty cool. Damn. Either my memory is really bad or I just did not pay attention at all when playing this game the first time. Oof. I sort of got it. This is lightning material. Is this lightning material? All right. Ooh, ice. Okay. That's cool. I wish I had more material slots, but I don't. Ew, what are these, bro? And there's our first I'll <laughs> beat the shit out of this thing. One thing I'm always interested in JRPGs is what enemies are in the game. Like in Kingdom Hearts, you have the Heartless, of course, and like... In other games, like the Trills games I've played, most of the enemies are just like animals in the world. What are these? These look like fucking aliens. What are these in the world? Because <laughs> I love I love JRPGs which kind of explain the enemies. Like, there's this cool moment in Trails where they do that. I won't go into it because it's kind of spoilers. But like, what are what, what, what is this thing? Obviously, they just called it Beast, but like, are these like normal things that are just out there? At the same time, this is originally a PS1 game, so I doubt they actually went into any of that. Because like, I'm sure every game was just like, nah, we just have like these monsters and we kill them. No explanation needed. Yeah, look at these big ass rats. Rare rat, okay. Bop. Let's go. Slice this man in half. We good. Okay, let's just run through this area. One thing is, I don't know why games don't have mini maps. Like, you clearly have this already. Just give me, just give me a mini map in the corner. There's no reason not to have one. Obviously, it looks cleaner without one, but like, come on, it should be a thing in every game right now. A standard, some would say. We, his Aios. Okay. Oh shit! I thought he was dead. Nice. Oh, that's all? We didn't even go to the goal. Oh, I remember this kid. I didn't do a single one of this kid's missions. I felt kind of bad. What is that on his shoulder? It's clearly moving. This dude's killing it. The one with the freaking pull-ups. Been doing it for like hours. Back already? Easy, fam. Got every last one too. Now the slum should be safe. You guys are machines. Good job. Meanwhile, we told everyone. Ask Cap as hell. I bet you guys didn't even leave. So I heard. I've got to ask though. What did you? Chill out, man. Right. Chill out, man. Be All a bit more nice, my guy. It'll pay off soon enough, I promise. The way they're portraying Cloud right now, you can clearly see what the arc is going to be, which is nice. Character as a developer are obviously more interesting. And we're going to change it pretty soon for a different sword. That's why I always love the Kingdom Hearts concept, where you're technically just using the same weapon, but it looks different in universe, which is nice. I'm fine. Been meaning to ask. After you left the village. It's a long story. I've got time. Why don't you tell me all about it while we try to wrestle up some more work for you? That sounds great! I'll Bro, no one invited you. No, you won't. What? Run along now, you two. Sorry, Go on. maybe uh. next time. Huh? No fair! Uh. 
think about it for a second. They haven't seen each other in years. You'd be a third wheel. My dumbass just realized the red bandanas are like their uniforms in Avalanche. Hey, before we get back to it, why don't I we still am not clear like right. what position she has because she wasn't there in the first mission. Is she like a part of I Avalanche proper or is she just like she doesn't have red that. bandana clearly? So I don't know. Like I feel like she'd probably be the strongest from the group. Yeah, fam. Who do you think I am? Oh, that's the sword that I did get. I'm pretty sure. Okay, no. You calling me a punk ass bitch isn't being antsy. <laughs> You're just an asshole. And your line of work needs weapons, no? Why not try that one on? Yours on the house. So that means like these Buster sword size weapons are are normal. If this guy just sells them. Think about it. Fine. Iron bangle. I have one, right? Star bracelet. A bracelet developed by tradesmen to make the most of material. Oh, do they give you more slots? Oh, that's the benefit of them. Okay. Why was I not able to put them on before? I think I might have been like doing something wrong. I'm pretty sure I can put them on. Ooh, is this armor? No, it's like accessories. Okay, let me put on what I have now. Then I'll see. I like that. The fact that the Buster Sword ability is at maximum proficiency from the beginning. I like when like story-based things just affect gameplay like that. Because obviously we would have that maxed if this weapon? is the only sword we've used. Let's see if we can't put it to good use. Let's go chat up Weimer. Who? The guy who tracks all the requests that come to the watch. Am I stupid? How do you change your sword? I don't see it. Do I just press an X? Okay. I have to press an X. Okay. Yeah, not the best UI. Okay. Okay, I was, I was wondering why it's so much weaker. It's because of the upgrades I did, mostly. Magic attack's a lot better. Normal attack is worse, technically, because of the upgrade I did. So let's go to Iron Blade. And I have 10 SP, so yeah. Chakra material. Use Chakra, which does 20% HP damage taken. Ooh. What is this? Is this a spell? When did I get the Oh, Tifa's. Never mind. I can't use that. Deadly dodge at the same time is kind of cool. I feel like that's something I do pretty often. I might put that on. Also, so, so I can have that purple on my sword. That'll look pretty cool. Iron Bangle. We oh, yeah. We got another slot, so we can just put the fire right there. I wonder, can you see? See the the bangle on cloud because you can see the sword and the material there i wonder if you can see the bangle and let me upgrade my weapon because i have the 10 sp i wonder if it's the same upgrades or if it's different stuff defense is different Ooh, 150 hp it's already better than the other one i don't think now that i think about it i've been blocking it at all that's usually how it is with games i like never block and i usually dodge it's either i only dodge and don't block or only block and don't dodge it's, it's barely a mix Unless the game is kind of hard, then I got to kind of get my act together. I think I was able to do it to Tifa too. I might as well. I really do not remember this mechanic at all. But I think this might be one of those things where like, I'll upgrade Tifa right now. But in the future, I might just put my party members on automate instead of like having the having me do this manually. Because like, I, it's going to be kind of annoying to do it all the time. That's true. I can give her material too. So if I have an extra, I might as well just slot one in. Ice. I would buy her an accessory now, but it's like too early game to know how rare Gil is going to be. So I'm going to keep it for now. I forgot what we were going to do. She's to go to Weimar. I believe we're going to fight monsters because she said to test out the sword or something. This is one of my favorite. I think I mentioned this last episode that there's two swords and uh, designs I like. I really like this design for like it being one of the first swords. I think they kind of like really got the design good. I think I kept this sword for like a lot of the game. Okay, apparently I'm getting farther away from the marker, but I'm going. Oh, I'm going up completely the opposite way. Okay, this compass doesn't help at all. <laughs> I just got to keep looking at the map. Why are you Weimar? Who the hell are you? Actually, I wanted to introduce you to an old friend. You don't say. Well, we're always on the lookout for experienced fighters to help us deal with the bigger critters. I'll take on anything. For the right price, that is. Experienced and cocky, huh? If it's a challenge you want, I might have a few good ones. Your clients can fill you in on the details. Prove yourself at these jobs, and I'll see if I can't find you some more. Thanks. I wonder if, like, your rep actually growing among the village actually does anything in the game. Candidate detected. Performing physical Yeah, this is a weird analysis. kid. Let's see. My name is Chadley. I'm an intern for Shinra's research. What is it on his shoulder? Is that just like a bandana? I hope you'll be interested in helping it's me. Like weirdly, oh yeah, I see it on his strap. Okay. Please accept this as a down payment. I would like you to set that assessed materia in your. Yeah, this is what it was. I don't think I put that on or battle. used it once because <laughs> I didn't want to waste a material slot. I'm not interested in working for Shinra. You should know that I work actively to undermine Shinra's effort. I'm sure you of all people can appreciate the tremendous power of materia, and if you later decide that I am not worthy of your trust. You can do what you do best. I will hold you to that. Excellent. Then we shall work together so long as you deem fit. Once you've completed your task... Yeah, I'm not sure if I'll do this either. because I, I just don't want to waste a slot to use the assess material. But we'll see. Maybe I'll do it after. I think that's good for this episode of Final Fantasy VII Remake. Hopefully you enjoyed. This episode was more chill. We just got back to uh, Sector 7 and just talked to some mandums. And next time we'll do the quest that Homie talked about. We got a shit ton of quests that we have to do. Well, I think those are side quests, but we'll see how much we do, whatever we feel like next time we record. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys are enjoying, let me know down in the comments below. Please leave a like if you are enjoying it. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time.